Nolagen here at Spoonbill. Let's go check it out. Welcome to Nolagen. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our restaurant review videos, we're on a best burger surge visiting the Spoonbill Watering Hole and Restaurant in downtown Lafayette, Louisiana, which is located in an old Conoco filling station converted into a bar and restaurant. The Spoonbill Watering Hole and Restaurant is located at 900 Jefferson Street, which is about two hours and 137 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. This is a popular and fun looking restaurant that serves up a nice variety of food and drinks that incorporate a nice range of options ranging from burgers and seafood to steaks. So sit back, relax, and join us on our journey to find the best burger in Louisiana at the Spoonbill Watering Hole and Restaurant. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So they have a nice balance of outdoor and indoor seating here. And I'm going to go up here and check out the seating at the bar. So they have a decent looking little bar here. So we're going to cozy up and grab a chair and check everything out in this area. So they've got quite a selection of beverages here. And of course, we always like to see what's going on back in the kitchen and they give you a nice view of the kitchen here. So let's go ahead and check out the menu now. So we have appetizers with veggie spring rolls, crab quesadilla, steak nachos, artichoke dip. Then we have small plates with shrimp ceviche tostada, crispy duck tenders, ginger chili cauliflower, and spicy nudes. Next we have mains with grilled fish, bimbap, hanger steak, barbecue shrimp, seared tuna, poke bowl, salads, roasted beet salad, butter lettuce salad, street corn salad, and salad additions of fried girl chicken, fried girl shrimp, rare seared gulf tuna, and crispy duck tenders. Then we have sandwiches with the burger, a commander in beef, chicken sandwich, caprese panini, fish sandwich, prespiera sandwich. Then we have tacos and wraps with shrimp tacos, fish tacos, duck tacos, bimabop wrap, and seared tuna wrap. Then we have desserts with flourless chocolate cake, tres tres leches cake, cookie skillet, ice cream sandwich. Then we have an ice cream scoop and a cookie. Then we have sides with grilled vegetables, green rice, tomato soup au gratin, fries, roasted pesto bread, and side salad. On the other side of the menu, we have beverages with your standard cocktails, a pink white, feels like summer, teaspoon, Lafayette sidecar, raspberry beret, Oaxcan in the garden, and another thing, a Jenny Appleseed, there is no London Fog, Corpse Reviver number two, Margarita, Old Fashioned, and Frozen Margarita. Then we have Tiki Time with Mai Tai, Rum DMC, Perillo Punch, Suffering Bastard, Ahu, Ama, 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 Oakapua, Ah. Then we have mocktails and such with Cucumber Mint Limeade, Raspberry Ginger Lemonade, Mockley Love Bite, Mockley Earl Diablo, R2 Positive Culture Kumbacha, hot coffee drinks with Irish coffee, Spanish coffee, Caribbean coffee, and Irish mocha. Next, we have canned beer with Jucifer, Holy Roller, Envy, Parish, Blonde, Catahoula Common, Susie B, Lime Cucumber Goes, Cane Break, Purple Haze, Shiner, Amber, Corona Extra, Modelo Special, Dos Equis, Domestics, Budweiser Zero, and cold coffee drinks with Rive Cold Brew and Black Pot Coffee. Then we have spritzes with an aerial spritz, Mondino spritz, Lillet Rosé spritz, Amaro Nonino spritz. Then we have a selection of house wine with a Rosé, Albanero, Pinot Grigio, Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, Cabernet Sauvignon. Then we have wines by the glass or bottle in white, red, Rosé, pink wine, and sparkling. Yeah. Roast. So the Abita Amber was mighty cold and quite refreshing. I'm always a big fan of Abita Amber. So I ordered the burger, which is a six ounce black Angus beef patty on a potato roll with American cheese, lettuce, tomato, and this stuff called rosy sauce served with fries. All right, let's give our burger here a taste test. It's a beautiful looking burger, smells good, and it does taste nice and juicy, delicious. So overall, this seems like a pretty darn good burger. However, everything is not perfect with the situation. So I only had two issues at this restaurant. One, they only had mustard in these awful little packets and not a bottle. The burger looked fantastic, but they told me it was served with a rosy sauce and they told me that was an aioli mayonnaise. Mayonnaise and aioli are two separate things. I love traditional aioli, but I don't really like mayonnaise. 
Traditional aioli is nothing more than olive oil emulsified into freshly crushed garlic seasoned simply with salt and maybe a bit of lemon. I'm really disappointed so many places call their flavored mayo aioli. I don't know how this tradition got started in the USA, but it's gotten way too common and out of control. Aioli is not mayo, all y'all chefs and people cooking stuff out there. Stop calling your flavored mayo aioli. Aioli is not a mayo. It is a different emulsification sauce. Now, I don't know if the uh, chef or cook here called it that, but that's what the person serving me called it. So, just as a slight matter of clarification with people. Because, hey, there's plenty of us that would prefer to have that aioli over that mayo blades, because aioli has fantastic flavor. Now, without the rosy sauce and just my mustard and the cheese and the beef on here, this has been a pretty delicious, juicy burger overall. And, of course, some real aioli would have totally kicked this thing up to awesomeness. And uh, maybe uh, one day they'll try that here. But here we go. I totally destroyed that burger easily and effortlessly. It had really good structural integrity, good meat bun ratio. Now these french fries are also nice and crisply fried. Lots of good crunch in the bite. So it's crispy, crunchy on the outside, nice and soft on the inside. So just the way you want your french fries to be. So very nicely cooked french fries here. So there are a lot of good things going on in this restaurant and a lot of the preparation of the food has been spot on on delivery. Just, uh, you know, those slight clarification on definitions of things with the people that are serving me is the biggest uh, pet peeve I had here. Although, I love some real aioli on the burger. And then, uh, you know, I really could have used some real bottled mustard or some kind of a jarred mustard as opposed to those horrible packets. Those just make me grumpy. Rrr. All right, so just like I've totally destroyed this plate of food, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below let me know what you thought about this burger and fries. While you're down there, make sure to check out links to my Patreon accounts. I do work for tips. I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived and the total before tip was $16.42, which overall with a can of beer was a pretty good value, I would say. So thanks so much to everybody at the Spoonbill Watering Hole and Restaurant. I really enjoyed my meal other than those few little hiccups of uh, mustard packets instead of an actual mustard container. And uh, give me some real aioli and then that burger will be super awesome instead of just really fantastic. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nola Gent channel, especially to my Patreons. If you would so kindly, go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, as it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm. Then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nola Gent here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.